Hello guys, welcome again to another knit tutorial. Today we will learn how to make this beautiful bubble rapid stitch. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. Uh, the wrong side looks like a, a, but the butterfly stitch. Very beautiful too. Uh, our pattern repeat it's at the row number 8 and row number 16. I will work with a multiple of 4 plus 3. I have on my knit hooks, I have 23 and 2 stitch more for my hedge stitch. One here and another here. Uh, I will start. Uh, this, the, the stitch we will use is knit and purl. Uh, this is my first stitch. I never do my first stitch. I will skip. I will make knit three, one, two, three. Now I will pour one. I will knit three again. One, two, three. I will pour one. Yarn to the front. Pour one. I will knit three again. Yarn to the back. One. Two. Three. The first row you will do uh, knit three, per one, knit three, per one, knit three, per one till the till the end of this row. Now I will do row number two at the wrong side. I will skip the first stitch. Now we will do uh, the opposite we made before. Now we will purl three. One, two, three. We will knit one. Yarn to the back. Knit one. Yarn to the front. Purl three. One. Two, three. We will knit one. We will pull three. One, two, three. And you will keep doing the same till you finish this row. I will start my row number three and we will do the same we did that to row number one. I will skip the first stitch. I will knit three. One, two, three. I will pull one as we are seeing here. Yarn to the front. Pull one. Knit three again. One. Two, three. Now we will pour one, and you will keep doing this sequence till you finish the row number three. Uh, you will do the same uh, at the wrong side, the the same we did uh, at uh, row number two. Uh, you will work uh, from several rows till you reach the row number seven, and we will meet at the row number eight. It is the row where we will make our bubble. On this step I already finished the row number 7 and your pattern may look like this. The right side and the wrong side. We will start to make the row number 8 at the wrong side of our pattern. You will need a crochet hook to help you to grab the stitches. And I will start to do row number 8 and we will make our bubbles. I will skip the row number, uh, the first stitch, sorry. I will knit three, uh, purl three. One, two, three. Here we have the row 
with all our knit stitches. We will drop this stitch. We will drop all the stitch till we reach this one exactly here. We will do this. We will drop for seven times two, three, four. two, four, six, and we'll drop another one, the last one, and we will have this last stitch. This one. Now we will go with our crochet hook behind all the stitches we dropped. We have it, uh, our crochet hook at the loop. We will grab the yarn from our main needle. We will go on this way, we will go to the loop and we will make again a chain with the, the yarn from our main needle. We will make a chain and this chain will go to, the, to our main needle on this way. I will do this sequence again. I will purl three, one, two, three, I will drop seven stitch, this, this seven stitch we need at the wrong, the wrong side, I will drop this stitch, I will drop one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I will introduce my crochet hook on this loop. I will go behind all my dropped stitch. I will grab the yarn from our main needle. We will make we will grab the yarn through the loop on this way. And now we will make a chain with the same with the yarn from our main needle. and this chain go to our right side needle and we'll keep doing the same we will pull three one two three we will drop the stitch from our left needle one two three, four, five, six, seven. We will go again with our crochet hook. We'll go behind all, all, all the stitches we will grab the yarn from our main needle, we come to the back, through the loop, we will make a chain, and this chain go to the main needle again. And we will do this till finish this row. Purl three, two, Three, and we will repeat the dropped stitches here. Row number nine, I will skip the first uh, stitch as always, as always. I will knit five. One, two, three, four, five. I will purl one. I will knit three, one, 
two, three, I will pour one, knit three, one, two, three, pour one, knit three, one, two, three, pour one, and we will need five as we start here. We'll finish the same way. Knitting five. One, two, three, four, five, and I will make my hedge stitch. We will start row number 10 and row number 10 says purl 5, knit 1, purl 3, knit 1, purl 3, knit 1, purl 3, knit 1 and finish with purl 5. Let's start, skip the first one, purl 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, knit one, pull three, one, two, three, knit one, pull three, knit one, purl 3 and finish the row number 10 by purling 5. I will do row number 11, we will make the same we did at the row number 9. I will skip the first stitch, I will knit 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Yarn to the front, pearl one, yarn to the back, knit three, one, two, three, and you will keep doing this sequence till you finish the row number 11. And you will keep working till the row number 15. At the row number 16, we will repeat our bubbles. I finished, I already finished my row number 15, your may looks like this, and we will start to make the row number 16, we will repeat our uh, bubbles. We will do the same we did before. We are at the wrong side, I will skip the first stitch. I will pearl five, one, two, three, four, five, and we will start to make again the dropped stitch exactly here on this line. We will drop for seven times our stitches. We will need the help of our crochet hook and we will do this. I have here my stitch, my loop, I will go with my crochet hook behind all the dropped stitches, I 
I will grab the yarn from my main needle and I will go to the back into the loop and I will make a chain and I will introduce this new stitch on my main needle on this way and I will do the same again I will purl three one two three and I will drop seven stitches exactly here one two three four five six and seven we will introduce again our crochet hook on the loop on the first loop we'll go behind our dropped stitches we will grab the yarn for our main needle we will go through the loop we will make a chain and we will introduce to our main needle and you will keep doing the same till you finish the row on this step I finished my row number 16 as you can see we can see here our bubbles asymmetric with the, the first we made your row number 17 will be uh, the same as the row number one starting with knit 3 per 1 knit 3 per 1 till the end of the row this is a pattern repeat as I told you before at the row number 8 and row number 16 this is the bubble wrapped stitch the front side and this is the wrong side really beautiful too I hope you have enjoyed to see this stitch uh, we will meet uh, again at the next tutorial